Thank you to UPDF for sponsoring today's video. Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a guide to using UPDF on iPad. If you don't know what UPDF is, it is an AI powered PDF editor, which allows you to edit, annotate, organize, summarize, translate PDFs. And they have so many features in this app. So if you're someone who uses PDFs on a regular basis and you're looking for good software for this, then I highly recommend this app. What's really great about this app as well is that it's available across multiple platforms. So you have iPhone, iPad, Mac, Windows, and Android. So it's available across all those platforms with only one license. So you don't need a license for each platform. It goes across all those platforms, which is really nice. So yeah, let's get started and I'll share with you some of my favorite features of UPDF and how you can use it as well. So going into the app, this is what you're gonna see. This is where all your files are gonna live and all the files that you import into the app is gonna be saved here. Then we have these three different folders that you can also go into. So the first one is trash. So if you delete anything, it will be thrown into this section here and then you can just permanently delete it when you're sure you don't need it again. Then you have security space. So on iPad, this is gonna ask for face ID and it's just a way to secure some files if you have some sensitive of information, you can just put it in this folder. Then we have UPDF Cloud, which just allows you to upload files to the cloud. So for instance, any files that I save to the cloud on my iPad, if I go on my Mac, it will also be available to view and edit from there as well, because it's all saved on the cloud on my account. So to get started with PDFs in UPDF, first we're gonna go ahead and import. You have this plus button here at the bottom right, which you can go into and choose where you wanna import your files from. So I'm just gonna choose files and import a document. So once you're in your document, this is what you'll see. The toolbar we have here at the top is gonna be where you're gonna go into different modes. So the first one we have is like annotating, then we have editing, then we have some stickers and things which I will get to. Then we have a section where you can view your PDF and then lastly we have AI features which I will be covering a bit later. So first I just want to share with you some annotating tools that's available in the app. So once you go into the annotating mode you will see this toolbar appear at the left. So this is going to be all the tools that you have available for annotating. So we have different tools here. The first one is going to be your pen tool which just allows you to write whatever you want. You can also hold down on each tool and and it gives you some more information about the tool so you can choose some colors. You can also go here to view some more color and color wheels and then you can also adjust the width and opacity of your pen. Also all the annotation tools you will see this little intelligent switch at the top. So if I just regularly underline something with the pen tool it's just gonna look like I scribbled on the page. But if I turn on the intelligent tool, when I underline something and hold down, it's gonna snap kind of into the place beneath the text and it just neatens it up and just makes it look like a clean underline. Then next up we have the highlighter, which is very similar to the pen tool. Again, we have the intelligent switch that allows it to kind of snap into place when you're highlighting. Then we have this tool here, which allows you to create a dashed line. You can use this for underlining whatever. And again, it has that intelligent mode that creates kind of like a squiggle underneath your text, which I really like. And then we obviously have the eraser if you need to erase anything. So that's in short the pen tool. Now we also have markup, which is like I mentioned, more for text. So the first option is highlighting. So you don't need to have intelligent mode turned on for this. It's going to kind of be on a default. Um, so then you can just go ahead and highlight anything. And also you can hold down on that tool to choose the color and things like that. Then some other options we have for markup. You can also strike through text. You can underline any text. And then you also have that squiggly line that you can add underneath. And you can change the color of all of these by either holding down or just going to this color option here at the bottom. Then some other options you have for annotating is you can just add some text boxes. So they have three different types of text boxes. So first we just have a plain text box. Then you have a text box where you can adjust the border as well as the fill color. And then we have callouts, which allows you to add kind of like an arrow and call out a specific section in your PDF and point it out using the arrow. And again, you can edit the colors of all of these and just make them fit your needs. Then some other fun things that you can include with annotating is shapes. You can also add some notes 
to your documents. It will appear as a little icon on your document. You can just tap on it to go into the notes. And then you also have this section here at the top that lets you go into the sticker section. So I have so many different stickers that you can go ahead and add into your documents to spruce them up, add some nice details when you are annotating things. You can add some fun details to documents and really just make it your own with these stickers. You also have the stamp section as well here. And then the last section I wanna cover in this little block is the signature. So we've all needed to add signatures to a document. This just allows you to save a signature and reuse it in different documents. And it's all saved here in this section. So you can just make your signature and reuse that across documents. One of my favorite features of UPDF is the editing feature. I think this is very helpful for anyone who works with PDFs. And then you have a toolbar at the side where you can go ahead and access the different features. The first one is for text. So you can go to any text box in your PDF and edit it to your desire. You can also go to the image tool to import any images or select an image in your document to replace it with an entirely different image. Or you can just go ahead and rotate that image, crop it, extract it, whatever you want. So those are the things that you can do to actually edit PDFs yourself. You can also edit other things like links in your document to replace certain links or add in links. And you can also add things like watermarks to your documents as well. I think the watermark feature is really nice and you can go ahead and choose it exactly the size that you want, the opacity, the icon that you want for your watermark, all of that. So that is all really nice. And also on the computer, it allows you to change backgrounds as well. Well. Moving to this next icon on our toolbar, this is like I said where you can view your PDF but you can also go to these four blocks here and open up your PDF in a thumbnail view so you can see the thumbnail of every page here and then you have this toolbar here at the bottom which allows you to organize your PDF a bit more so you can rotate any page in your PDF, you can extract a page and save it to file so you can annotate it on its own, you can insert pages, you can copy pages, paste pages and then you can also share pages pages if you want to export something and you can obviously delete and then you can easily rearrange pages as well by just holding down and moving them around which is always really helpful within any PDF editor. You'll also see we have this drop down arrow here next to this home icon which has some other information and settings that you can edit. So one thing I want to cover is this password option. You can set a password to each document so that like I said if it has some sensitive information you can go ahead and set a password to it so that it's not easily accessible to anyone. Again, you have that security folder as well. On your computer, you have the option to convert your PDF into multiple different formats. So that's really helpful if you are looking to have different formats of your PDF that you're working on. And on your computer, it has the option for OCR, which means you can convert any images into a searchable PDF. So it will detect the text and turn it into a searchable PDF, which is really, really nice. And I think that's also going to help you a lot when you are looking for certain things within a document. Another great feature is that it allows you to scan documents or images. So you just go onto the app and scan your image and then it allows you to edit it to your liking. So cropping or adding filters and then it's turned into a PDF. A feature that I had a lot of fun playing around with was creating your own form. So it allows you to put in text fields that people can fill out. It allows you to create lists that people can select from, drop down lists. You can also create check boxes. So basically a form that any person can fill out and then they can just fill that out in their PDF editor or reader. So this is just a really cool feature to create your own forms and make them available to be filled in really easily. Then lastly, what I wanna cover is one of the most powerful features of this PDF editor, which is the ability to use AI. So this is UPDF AI, this little icon here. So we have two sections here. The first one is Ask PDF, and then we have Chat. So Ask PDF is directly related to your PDF, and Chat allows you to enter in any text or information and ask it to translate, summarize, explain, or write anything that you need. So first off, Ask PDF, you can go ahead and click on Get Started, and it's just gonna give you your PDF and then give you some questions that you can ask about that PDF. Then once you've done that, you can go ahead in the bar at the bottom and ask it to translate your PDF to any language. You can ask it to summarize your PDF into like one paragraph or something. And you can also ask it to 
explain some things about your PDF. I asked the AI to translate one of the documents into my home language, which is Afrikaans, and it actually did a really good job of translating it and making it actually sound good. So yeah, I was actually impressed with the AI features and all the things you had. And then, like I said, you can go to the chat section so I can ask it anything right in the app and it will give me information about whatever I ask it to do. Or I can go into summarize mode and enter in any text that I wanted to summarize. So when you are creating your own PDFs, this can be really helpful. You don't even have to go into a different app to do some research. You can just ask the AI and it will give you some information about it. So this is a really helpful feature. I think it's very powerful and allows you to just do these things without having to go into a different app. It's right here, integrated into the app. I think this will also be really helpful if you're working on your phone on your PDF and you just wanna get some information from your document, you can easily find it using the AI and then yeah, it's just an easy way to get access to this information just from your phone. So those are just some of the features that I wanted to cover on UPDF and some of my favorite features that this app has. So that was my walkthrough slash guide of UPDF. I really hope you enjoyed it. I will have a link in the description if you wanna get UPDF for yourself with a discount for the pro features. So if you wanna try it out, see if it will work for you, I do have a discount for you guys in the description that you can get for yourself. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.